Alright guys, so today we're going to go on a hunt with all of the shotguns that I own. I do not have any of the premium ones, but I have all non-premium shotguns. So there are seven of them. There's the 12 gauge pump action, uh, as well as the 12 gauge primal. Those are pretty similar. Uh, and then you have the 12 gauge side by side, 12 gauge over and under, and 12 gauge single shot. And there's two 20 gauges, uh, the swamp camo and the carbon. So we're going to do it here on Logger's Point. Uh, unlike the last couple of times, we're going to do it all on one map, all in one hunt. And I thought Logger's Point could bring the most variety because we have some small game, uh, we've got coyotes that we could use buckshot, and then we've got some bigger game like the deer and the feral hog. So I thought that would be best. Hopefully you guys agree with that. So we got the 12 gauge pump and the 20 gauge right now, just uh, one for big game, one for small game. Uh, we just had a feral hog call that I didn't ID, so maybe we'll find it, but if not, we're going to look for probably some deer because we're in a pretty good area for them. But we'll see. Also, it's raining incredibly hard outside, so hopefully you guys can't hear that. I tried to uh, put some soundproof insulation, aka styrofoam, uh, kind of between the window and my microphone. So hopefully that's blocking most of the sound. And I'll try to... Uh, I have my microphone really close to me, and I'll try to turn the game volume up a bit more if it is loud. But hopefully it's not obstructing anything. Alright, so we've got a feral hog right here in front of us. I've got the 12-gauge pump-action shotgun with slugs loaded so we're gonna let him clear the grass and actually I have to stand up because I can't aim that low alright so our first animal is down I did forget to mention that we're going for males only other than rabbits and maybe pheasants uh, those I'm less concerned about uh, but yeah anything else that we are trying to go after we're gonna try to get males so decent feral hog at 833 uh, since we're this close to the tent, might as well just go back and swap out the uh, pump action for something else, and we'll continue on. Alright, so we've got a whitetail buck here, 110 to 135 score estimate, so not all that big. But we've got the 12 gauge single shot, loaded with 12 gauge slugs. And down goes our buck. So two shotguns done. See where the next tent is that I have to stop at. So hopefully we run into a rabbit or a pheasant along the way uh, to use the 20 gauge and then that way we can grab uh, two more shotguns because if I end up using I should have brought birdshot for the uh, other 12 gauge that I have but I didn't. So we'll head towards the tent to grab more shotguns um, and then we'll go from there. Alright, so we've just spooked a cottontail rabbit. I can see him running around. Oh, wow. Didn't think that would kill him. I knew we had a decent shot, but... Hopefully you guys can see that. I know he was kind of far away. Let's see what... I don't even know. I, don't have a... I didn't have a track from him or anything. Oh, wow, we had... I guess at that range, with the uh, pattern spreading out so much, we pretty much hit everything. I think that even said head and tail or something. Can you hit the tail of a rabbit? I don't know. I didn't read it super closely. But yeah, we've still got one other shotgun on us. Uh, the 12 gauge side by side, which is quickly becoming one of my favorite shotguns. But yeah, we'll head up. We're almost to the tent where we can swap out. Uh, I think we'll be able to grab two or three more. I forget how many I have in my inventory. Uh, and we'll continue on from there. Alright, so we've got a few coyotes coming in. I think it's just two, which is odd. Unless maybe two were just near each other. Uh, but this could be interesting. So we've got the 12 gauge side by side. If they'll kind of line up at all for us, we can probably get them both. Oh, we're spotted. Okay, we hit the other one. May have to do some tracking for that second one. Uh, that male spotted us, and I didn't want to wait any longer. But we definitely got the male, and then the female is the one that we hit afterwards. What? <laughs> oh, just on the edge of render. That explains it. Okay. I was wondering how that didn't spook it. That's right, so a 48 male coyote. Hey, that's our 50th uh, side by side harvest. And then we just have body on this coyote. Uh, so we will follow the tracks. I think we probably hit it again. 
Uh, if nothing else, we can probably even get it with another shotgun. Yeah, the blood there would probably mean we have a second hit, so I would imagine it'll go down from that. But we'll see. Alright, so I've located our coyote and just loaded up the side-by-side uh, -side again. I think we can... Uh, I would take that shot, but you guys really can't see. I know I can't call it back our way, but at least if it turns broadside or something, you guys would be able to see a little better. Oh, just to clarify, yeah, that is the right one, and maybe it's unspooked now, so we'll just give it a quick call, and we'll see if it'll turn around and come our way. In the meantime, I spooked, like, two or three other just single coyotes as I uh, was tracking this one, so maybe that is why only two came in, or maybe those were the other three that were just way behind, I don't know. Alright, let's see if... Yeah, she's going to come right back. I guess she's going to walk in, which is a bit odd. I don't really know what coyotes do, like, uh, when they're injured. Like, if you shoot a deer or a elk or anything, they kind of walk around, like, hanging their head, kind of. So maybe coyotes always walk and don't trot. I don't know. But that one's down. That's not what I wanted to do. All right. We hit it four times. So yeah, we actually did hit it on all three shots that we took at it. Uh, but the tail and body shot did next to nothing. And then we had left front leg. So we were close to uh, catching the chest cavity on that first shot. We almost uh, would have been able to just kill it there. So I know I got a, yeah, there's a tent down here that I can go to. Uh, and switch shotguns again. I think I just have to grab one more. Uh, I haven't used the primal yet, so I have the over and under and the uh, 20 gauge carbon with me. Uh, and of course I'll check in case I miss one, but I do believe uh, that's going to be all of them. So I'll head down there and switch that out, and we'll continue our hunt. Alright, so we've got a rooster pheasant actually walking at us see if it's actually it looks like a decent one I want to spot it before we shoot at it yeah 24 to 30 but it's not all that high weight so it's probably not a monster I think because it's laying this way it's gonna fly towards us and give us a weird shot so we're just gonna walk behind it and get a potentially easier shot I'm just gonna walk at it uh, and let it flush itself and it didn't go the way I expected I don't even know if I got it. <laughs> We're in an open field and it finds the two trees uh, to fly behind. Uh, we did get it, fortunately. See what we got here. 24 scoring pheasant, not too bad. What does the small game pose look like with a shotgun? I don't know. I kind of want to take a trophy shot because I haven't uh, actually used the small game pose for small game. Uh, so I'm going to check it out. Alright, so we've got a pretty good looking pheasant right here. We have 24 to 30 score estimate and his weight goes up to 2.9 kilograms. So that's almost max. So he definitely could be a high scoring pheasant. So I've got the over and under. So hopefully he will flush in a good direction for us. I'm just going to do the same thing I did on the other one. Have the gun ready this time. One shot, and there's another one. I am not going to hit that. Thought I even heard a third. But yeah, definitely that could have been a good pheasant. Which, I haven't killed a big pheasant in a while, so hopefully it is. That'd be kind of cool. He should be just up here somewhere. I kind of got spun around when I was looking for that other pheasant. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> I think he's right here. Yeah. See what we got for a score. 26.3 is definitely not bad. I was hoping for bigger, but we'll take it. All right, so we've got a solid mule deer buck coming in. 160 to 190 score estimate. So we've got the 12-gauge primal, which I didn't load. So uh, fortunately, we uh, didn't wait too long before raising our weapon. All right, so that's a pretty decent way to end, I think. That buck's not bad. He might be around 170. Uh, I don't know. 
he had a couple of short tines, but they were even, so there's not really going to be a deduction there. There's a random pheasant going through, and I still have bird shot, so I might be able to get it. That's a yes. Not airborne, but with the trees and stuff, it would be tough, and I don't even know if it would have actually flushed. Maybe that's why it was running in the first place. 23 scoring pheasant. What happened to the color? You guys see that, right? It's like... That is bizarre. Alright. We'll see what happens when we... Well, maybe this would fix it. Did it? I think so. I don't know. That was weird. Anyway. Here's our mule deer buck. 169 scores, so real close to 170. Uh, less than, what, two tenths of an inch away. And we pretty much hit everything from both lungs, liver, stomach, intestine. Yeah, the only thing we didn't catch was heart, so not bad. All right, so I think this looks pretty good. I tried a lot of different trophy shot poses, uh, and this is the best one I could come up with, but I am pretty satisfied with it. So, uh, yeah, with that, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.